Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this important video. And in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you the best way you can present your Canva designs to clients because I understand that as Canva designers, you know, you wouldn't really know which form is the best way to send out your designs to clients. And this video is aimed at doing that. So if this is something you are interested in knowing, all I have to say is stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Okay, so before I get started into whatever I want to talk about, one thing I would want to introduce you to and I would always love to see you have is Canva Pro because as a growing designer, everything you need to be able to satisfy your clients can be found in Canva Pro and in order for you to be able to meet your client satisfaction, Canva Pro is the best tool I can recommend to you. So I have a special link in the description box below that can help you to get Canva Pro at a cool price and even if you are not ready to upgrade to canva pro but want to try out canva pro the same link can help you to do that so without any much i do let's dive straight into what i want to teach you about so here's the backstory when i started designing in canva and i started getting clients um one thing i kept thinking about was how to present my designs to clients because um initially canva just had links you just have to send to clients and you know it was just a whole lot of things and um, you know some whole funny thing but as time went on it became clearer on how to do that and here is what i started doing initially when i'm done designing anything i have to do for a client what i do is i send an email and just you know copy and paste the links in the email and send off to the client and i realized that as time went on it was really looking unprofessional to me and the worst part of it is i get to send the editable design to the client don't get me wrong take your time here is the thing at a point because i always got to um work with client and try to improve on my services and everything i had to do i found an interesting way to present my projects to client and here is how i get to do it let's dive straight into canva and i'll just show you a brief way on how i get to do that so first of all we'll create a sample sheet okay so i just search for a4 over here because we'd want to go with an a4 document since um it's something professional you understand so this is what we have and usually i get to design it a little bit so we'll just try to see if we can find any um let me just search for invoice but i'll adjust certain things on the invoice okay so this is what i have at the moment i'll just click on this one okay and you can see this is just you know, an invoice so i'll just delete all of this okay because i just want to maintain the design of this and i can say uh maybe the name of your client is called abigail i'll we'll just say abigail's project okay just just example thing okay so i'll just say abigail okay abigail's project then we just align everything beautifully and reduce this and reduce that okay and maybe i'll just keep everything sweet over here usually i get to add some information and um i'll just leave it blank for now because i want to show you the most basic thing you need to do then anything you'd want to add on top of that would have to depend on your creativity and how you want your clients to see you okay so um let's dive back into it and let me just show you what to do so usually um i just get to add the design okay so i come into upload and find some sample uh, yeah so these are some of the designs i've made you know um, recently so let's say this was for a client i will just you know position it over here and i'll add some information here and there somewhere but that's not the most important thing right now then we just come over here i create a button okay and just position it over here so you crop it you know and place it over here then i press t on my keyboard to add a text so i can just say um access your design okay this one thing you can say you can just say click here to use design okay oh my mouse okay <laughs> then we position it over here okay so just know that the colors and everything you're going to use will depend on you okay so i'll just use my yellow and the black select everything and just group them by using ctrl g okay so now that we have done this what i'm going to do is i then now search for the original design 
so i would find it okay this is the design i click to open it and um, it should open quickly 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 okay so it's opened now i come to share and i will search for template link and you'll be wondering why template i'll explain very soon so i'll just copy the template link come into abigos project select it okay then click on the more icon over here then you see link so click on link and paste it over here okay so now that uh oh oh uh oh okay so let me do that again okay so that's it okay it's been added okay, so now that we have been able to add everything over here you may be wondering why i chose template link and the reason is you'd want your client to always have a fresh design when they click on the um on the link because this is what canva does when you send someone a template link and the person clicks on the link canva creates a copy of the design for whoever is trying to use the design so in this case you'd want your client to always have a fresh design anytime they click on the link instead of sending them the editable link which once they adjust and they mess things up it's actually difficult to go back to the initial design or the original design you made for them and that's why i would always recommend instead of sending the editable link to your client you rather send them the template link so once you do that you just have to come to share click on download in download make sure you don't click png okay select pdf print then you download okay so once you do that you just have to wait for canva to load and this is the interesting way i get to do things and honestly this has really helped me so so much because you know you don't want clients coming back and saying oh the design is messed up and can you send me the design again because once you send them the editable link and they mess these things up you also get to see the changes on your end once you send them the template link and they mess things up and they even say oh can you send me the original design you don't now have to go and recreate things and have to now think on how you made things you just have to send them the template link you know find it and just send it over to them so that in this case it's fresh and even in the case where you have to make changes or improvements on the design you know once you um have sent them the template link any adjustment you make on the design will still be seen anytime they click on the link you know at any point in time so this is an interesting way so let me just save my design and let me just walk you through okay so i will just come to my downloads and i will just click on save interestingly nothing has happened so i minimize this and i open my window so i go into downloads and in downloads i just click on abigail's designs project okay so you see this is how it's looking if i click on hit this so i just right click and open a new tab you can see it opens the design for you okay so this is it and you can say use template and that is how i get to send off my designs to client and look this is not limited i just adding the design and adding the link you can add instructions on how the design is supposed to use or how they can make changes to the design so that you can understand you don't want them coming back to you every time to say eh, can you do this and eh, how do you do this and eh, i don't understand this everything would be explained fully inside of the document you send to them so yes this is what i wanted to teach you and if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate if you hit on the like button and if you want more videos to help you with canva you can subscribe to this channel because that's what i aim at helping you with one more thing i'm upgrading my systems and my workstation so if this is something you want to support with there's a paypal link i have in the description box that can help you support and be a part of this the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i will see you the canva geek in my next tutorial